today I'm on the hunt for the NECA Dracula figure. I've been wanting this for a while and I haven't really pulled the trigger on getting it, but I figured today was the day I will go out there in the wild and see if I can find this figure. So I'm heading to Target to see if I can find it. Okay, I'm headed to the toy section now. Let's see if we can find Dracula. Wow, look, lots of Guardians of the Galaxy figures. Uh, I wasn't overly impressed with the movie, so I don't know if I'm gonna get these. I mean, it'd be cute to make look, Cosmo. It'd be cute to make Cosmo as a build figure, but I just don't know if I need to recollect all the Guardians. <sighs> oh, Frieza. Okay, focus, stay focused. Not yet, Frieza. Is this? Let's see. All right, it's the black and white one. I wanted the one that was in color to match my other figures, but they at least had the black and white one. Okay, I've seen some of them in this area before. The Invisible Man, okay. Oh, the grandpa from the Munsters. Wait, hey! What's this, what's this? Hey, is it my boy? Hey! That's it, there we go. There he is. Yep, the NECA Dracula. Okay, we got him. Here we go, we got it, the Ultimate Count Dracula. So we have this little window where we can look and see inside. Absolutely love that. Comes with like a lot of accessories. Um, really excited to get inside and see what's actually in there. I am gonna be opening this because I'm not a, I'm not really a box collector at this point. I used to try to be, but now I'm kind of at the point where it's more fun to just have them out and play with them. Okay, and he is out. So here's the actual main figure out of the box. Pretty good articulation. The hands look really good. Very good detail when it comes to the his little crest. The face looks amazing. I'm always so impressed by these when they have like these, you know, these molds of, you know, people who are long passed away, and just the capabilities they can get with the detail. Here's his, his coat, shoes. Overall, it's really, you know, lovely sculpt. Looks great. Now let's get into the accessories. So it comes with an additional two heads, so you can have three different faces in total. One that count that it uh, started off with, kind of a little bit of a smirk with a raised eyebrow. Then more of a just kind of neutral look, and then one where he's looks like he's about ready to bite. You can see his teeth in there. Um, somewhat, they have a little bit of vampire fangs, but not nothing too crazy. Uh, interesting that they have the articulation in both the actual neck and the head, and when you put it on, it would be the whole thing can move essentially. So I'm gonna try each of those on and see what they look like. Okay, we have the neutral face on first. Okay, let's putting on the attack head. It is a little snug trying to get it in there, but I, I guess that'll just make sure it's more secure when it is on there. Hear a little bit of a pop when it's in there. There we go. A little bit of a pop and then he's there. So that's the, I guess the ready to attack face. Then it comes with the three additional hands, not four, but three. Um, each one kind of like ready to grab somebody it looks like possibly. Uh, it's, not that big a difference to me personally. Uh, this one, you know, it's, I think it's more for like the grab the camera kind of thing. Uh, this one at least is nice because it, it's ready to hold things so he can hold like his goblet, I think, or his wine bottle possibly, or candle. So at least it has like a holding motion, which is helpful, I guess. The sculpt is nice though on these hands. It's pretty good. Um, well, the top part of it is. The under part looks a little bit, you can kind of see where the the mold lines were and stuff like that, but on the top part where you'll actually see mostly it looks pretty, pretty decent. It also comes with this little platter with a little wine glass. Oh, this is gonna be hard to, to balance, I can already tell. So it comes with a little wine bottle, a wine glass, two wine glasses, and they go on this little platter, which is cute. I feel like I'm gonna realistically use this for a lot of other like uh, action figure photography. I don't know how often I'm gonna use Dracula for this, um, but either way, it comes with this. That's pretty cool, I guess. Also comes with this candle stick. It looks like it's a dragon candle stick. It looks it's gorgeous. I wish I had this in like actual usable size because it's really pretty. And it comes with him as a bat, which is cool. And it comes with a clear see-through stick to simulate flight. 
get that on there. And then a little stand, so essentially you can have a little flying bat. Uh, I don't know if I'd really display this like this. Um, I don't know, it's giving a little bit of, I don't know, not my favorite. I think if anything I'd get some fish fishing line and hang it from like a ceiling or something so it's actually in flight. I don't know, the plastic kind of cheapens it all, I think, like the pl clear plastic sand makes it feel a little bit on the cheaper side, which uh, uh, otherwise everything else seems pretty high quality. I just don't know if I like this. Then last is his cape, which is pretty nice quality. It's like heavy at the bottom. Like I don't know how they, they, they did a good job distributing this weight so it does feel very much like it's not gonna flare up like a lot of other uh, toy scale materials would. So there he is with his fabric cape. Hmm. Overall, I really do like this figure. I think it's a really nice quality. It, it still kind of poses well. Uh, there's a lot of articulation. And I do feel like this will be a really good addition to my uh, Universal Monster collection. Uh, I am going to insert some official photos of my... I'm going to take some actual real photos of this just so you guys can see all the details but overall I really do think this is a, uh, a really nice high quality figure.